Right now at five, the sounds of joy. This one-year-old is hearing for the first time in his life. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm Pat Harvey. And I'm Paul Majors. Little Thomas received cochlear implants after doctors originally told his mom that he could hear. CBS News' Christine Lazar paid the happy family a visit. When Samantha Oliver gave birth to her son Thomas 14 months ago, she experienced the usual flood of emotions. I would say it was an amazing day, it was beautiful, but I was also just scared. I was so scared. Her typical first time mom fears were compounded when Thomas flunked his newborn screening test twice. So we went when he was 16 days old and did another hearing test. This one was more extensive with an audiologist. The doctors told the Olivers that Thomas passed the test. I started just breathing this sigh of relief and I, I said, okay, great and didn't think twice about it after that. But around seven months old, Samantha noticed Thomas didn't respond to his name like his playmates. One time an alarm went off in their home and Thomas didn't startle. I finally tried yelling in his ear while he was sleeping in his crib and no response. Doctors determined Thomas was born deaf due to a genetic condition. My heart just completely sank and I, I felt like what kind of life is he gonna have now? Back in January, Thomas had surgery to give him cochlear implants. This is the day that his doctors turned them on, giving the one-year-old the gift of sound. Yay! He hears that. When he first reacted to sound, you know, that's, um, that's a moment that I will always remember. And at home, ordinary objects like a water bottle appeared extraordinary. His face just completely changed. He was like, whoa, what is this? Or this time when Thomas fell in love with the sound of his high chair moving along the floor. It sounded worse than like nails on a chalkboard, but because he was loving it so much, we just kept doing it. We didn't care if it bothered everyone in the restaurant. The Olivers say Thomas is crawling more now that he can hear and babbling more. <laughs> the sweetest sound for his parents. We're just thrilled that he hears us, that he is happy hearing us, that one day, not yet, but he's going to say mama. <laughs> the hope is that Thomas won't have to have any other surgeries. His implants should be good for a lifetime. In Sherman Oaks, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.